Hello, today I'm going to do a quick demo of Tejas IDR, a new add-on designed to improve your security posture. Tejas IDR continuously monitors your environment for identity risks and misconfigurations while providing dark web intelligence on compromised credentials. The Identity Posture Dashboard provides an overview of your environment and insights and recommendations on how to improve your identity posture. The first thing you will notice is the Identity Risk Score. This score is calculated daily based on the open findings and tells you how it is trending from the previous day. You will also see an overview of the additional user, group, device, and application data that is being collected and analyzed as part of the module. The dashboard is comprised of three main widgets, the Top Risky Users widget, the Top Findings widget, and the Credential Compromise widget. The Top Risky Users widget provides a list of users that have been correlated and observed within other alerts in Tages over the previous three days. From here, you can see the number of open and closed alerts by severity for each user. This is helpful for spotting users that may be flying under the radar. You can also explore the user by clicking on their name, which will open the new Identity Details page. The Identity Details page provides additional information about the user. We can see that this user is labeled as an admin within the tenant. We can also see additional profile information such as their role, department, country, the last time they were active, when they changed their password, and any associated assets such as their phone or devices. If we scroll down a bit, we can see their MFA configuration as well as any recent alerts or investigations related to them. The commonly used entities graph provides insights into the IP addresses, browsers, assets, and operating systems that the user generally is seen logging in from. And lastly, you will see an organization chart. One of the key components of Tejas IDR is its ability to continuously scan your environment for misconfigurations and security gaps. When issues are found, a finding is generated. The top findings widget contains a list of the top 10 highest risk findings to help you prioritize which gaps to address first. Clicking on view related findings will take you to the findings page where you can explore the findings in more detail. From here, you can click on the finding to reveal the finding details panel. Each finding will contain a description and recommendations on how to remediate the issue within Microsoft Entra. From the findings page, you can also explore all of the findings by filtering on the type, status, risk level, and the different categories. The Credential Compromise widget provides insights on whether we have observed any of your organization's identities or credentials on the dark web or within any open source breach databases. The widget provides details on the number of breach sources as well as the number of breaches where plain text passwords or hashes were provided. In addition, a benchmark is provided so that you can quickly see how this is trending over the previous 30 days. Whenever a credential compromise has been identified within the window of the last password change time for the identity, a finding is generated. You can view credential compromise related findings by clicking on the view related findings button. The last area we are going to quickly explore is the My Environment section. With Tejas IDR, we are expanding the identity-related datasets that we collect and store within Tejas. This provides important context for analysts when investigating identity-based threats. Having this context directly within Tejas reduces the need to swivel seat between platforms, which saves time and accelerates the investigation and response process. Within the My Environment view, you can also explore the users, groups, devices, and applications to quickly get more information about each object. From the user's view, you can also automate response actions using your existing automation connectors and playbooks, such as password reset, lock account, force MFA refresh, and any of the other available actions in the playbook library. With Tejas IDR, investigating and responding to identity-based threats has never been easier. Thank you for watching.